Hi, this is Jim LaPuma of the New Jersey Institute of Technology, recording for my technical communications class with material drawn from my Fundamentals of Undergraduate Education and Learning text. We're looking at Communication Part 4, Negotiating Understanding, as the last part of the communication definition, which brings together these two major ideas of communication as transmission versus problem solving, and moves us forward into the material for the course. So we want to begin about looking at the, the idea of transmission versus constructing meaning. In the first model, transmission model looks at passing along your message, delivering it, and that's it. Now, as we looked at the radio station model, there's more to that. And really, in the problem-solving model, we were looking at creating understanding in our target. But really, communication is about both participants coming to an understanding, negotiating some common ground so that the terminology used, the words, the ideas are shared amongst them. In the end, what you really want to see is that through continual feedback, you can refine and continually improve your package so that what you as the sender have in your mind and want to create in the mind of the other can be constructed through iterations of this message. One of the big things about technical communication that we're going to learn through the process of this class is that sometimes you are unable to get feedback immediately. Other times you have immediate feedback. And it is this difference, written versus oral, presentations versus recorded situations, that lead to a different understanding of what you need to do and how you can anticipate the needs of your target to create the best and most effective package in a given situation to accomplish your goal for that target. So when we look at this, this negotiation of common understanding is what we're really seeking to do. So that at some point, the sender does everything possible so that this understanding they hope to attain is able to be reached by their target. The reason we say it's a negotiation of common understanding is that in the end, you have to service your target if you want to accomplish that construction in their mind. And it's always a balance between saying what you want to say, how you want to say it, and putting your package in such a form, using such a medium, so that your message reaches them in a way they can understand and use it the way you intend. So if we look at our model, the difference between this and all the other models is that it's simply two arrows working back and forth. The more the two parties engaged in communication are willing to participate and negotiate meaning, work together, the easier it is. The less that this arrow goes both ways, the less feedback, the less negotiation that occurs, the more the onus rests upon the sender to anticipate what the target will want. And unfortunately, the more likelihood exists of your message not accomplishing the goal you set. This is the fourth and most difficult concept of communication as a negotiation to attain understanding. Now, as you move through the rest of the course, we'll be investigating the various aspects that go into making your package most successful and understanding the various aspects that we've mentioned thus far.